just another quick video on the bot that I've been using. So uh, some of you know that I recently signed up for an automated trading bot. Uh, just to give it a try and to see if it was going to make any profits. And it made some really good profits in 25 days. And I had a request from a subscriber. <laughs> Zat Alim, I hope I pronounced that correctly, on whether I could do a quick brief tutorial on how to use the bot if you have no experience or very basic knowledge in technical analysis. So the purpose of this video is to just be a very quick walkthrough without going into detail and it's just so that you can place your first trades if you have some money floating around that you can afford to lose. <laughs> First of all, we're going to start with just a little bit of investment. So 500 US dollar. Um, so I'm just on my phone here because I'm going to top up my Binance account. Let me just screen record that for you so you can watch me do it. <laughs> uh, let's see, okay, good. So I'm just going to go into uh, Binance. In order to use a bot, make sure that you have registered with some sort of exchange. We'll go over the exchanges in a bit, but you need to have an exchange that you can connect to the bot. Um, I'm going to be using Binance and I will top up my USDT, so my Tether account. So if, you're, if you have a Binance account, so you go to show all balances and then you scroll down to USDT and then open your USDT account up. So at the moment I only have 55 USDT in there. So I'm going to click on buy with card. I will top up, um, I'm in UK, so I use pounds. So I will top up about 500 pounds anyways. I have a feeling that I won't be trading with 500 US dollar, maybe more about 700 or so, but I will show you how you can trade with 500. So that's going to give me 683. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I will add a little bit more to that. Buy with card, click on done, and then you have to tick the little box here at the bottom. So make sure you read the terms and conditions, do your due diligence. <laughs> and then I'm gonna click on continue. Right, so we've got the fee, it's a, the fee is 11 pounds. <laughs> And so I'll be getting a little bit less. I'll be getting 736 USDT. Confirm. Processing. Wait for it. <laughs> um, and boom. Okay, we got it. But that money should be in my account. I'm gonna go to wallets. And I'm just gonna scroll down and check that it's Arrived. So now I've got 792 USDT, so um, Tether in my account. And that's it, so we're going to leave the phone. I usually just trade from my phone and I top up everything from my phone because it's just an app and it's just very, very convenient. But when it comes to attaching the bot, we're going to go over to the laptop. I'm logged on to my Binance account from my computer. And so it's very simple. So Binance has a lot of things, so it can be a little bit intimidating for a beginner. But the more you play around with the platform, the more you're going to learn and then it's just going to become second nature. So don't worry, we have all been there. <laughs> so we're going to go to this little icon here, which is your profile. And you're going to just scroll down to API management. Click on it. I already have a bot set up as you can see here. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to create API. So it's going to ask you to type in the name of the API. I'm just going to put two just in case it doesn't let me create another one. And, and now here we have it. So we've got, we've got the, the bot. Okay. And so you can leave everything as it is. All you're going to need is the API key and the secret key. We'll copy these details into the bot. So use the link below and get onto Bitscab, sign up for an account, and then when you have, go to My Exchanges and add a new exchange. So you will see here what kind of exchange you want to add. I already added Binance. So if you're Binance US, you can add that. Let's say Binance US, for example. Um, let's just select that. And then you're going to go to your API key from Binance, copy it, 
and then you can copy, let's just copy that, copy it, and then paste it into here, and then you will copy your secret key, and then you paste that too, and then you click, click on connect, okay? And then you have your Binance, and it will show your balances, uh, the balances that you have currently on your Binance account. So it's just some extra information there. You can look, in order to use a demo account, if you don't want to use real money, just go switch to demo. And here you've got all of the exchanges that you can, that you can play around with. All right, I'm going to switch to live. You can get used to placing these trades with fake money, and then you can get used to using the bot. And then when you get comfortable, you can start using real money. Especially if you're a beginner. <laughs> okay, let's get back to it. So going to, um, we're going to click on bots. And you should have your Binance account linked to the bot. And I'm just going to show you very quickly how to do this without having to know every single detail about how it works. I usually look at the charts, but I'm assuming that you don't have a lot of knowledge when it comes to, or a lot of experience when it comes to technical analysis. So we're going to skip that. Okay, you can still trade if you don't know technical analysis, right? So strategy, I tend to just leave it on SBOT, exchange, choose exchange that you signed up for and then click on it. And then the pair, just leave it, leave it like that for the moment. Uh, investment, I'm just gonna, look, we're gonna put five, we're gonna put 500 just for the sake of this video, but I'm gonna end up throwing more into it. <laughs> uh, and so I think what's important for you to know from here on is, is this here, right? So if you haven't traded before, then this can be a bit confusing and this can be a bit confusing and all of this can be a bit confusing. You probably don't know what a stop loss is or a take off. Maybe you do, but I'm just going to keep this as beginner as I possibly can. So grid, grid levels, the lower, so you can do between 10 and 180, the lower the grid levels, the more risk you're willing to take. The higher the grid levels, the less risk. And you can see in the chart how that changes. See, I put 180 and you see how you've got the lines, right? So the grids are so narrow and close to each other. And when I change that to 10, then you see how they're so, um, I'll change it to 30, for example, you see how they're a little bit more apart. So just for this little box here, it's very important that you use the box, but you need to know what it means in very, 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 very simple terms. And the way you can consider this is the lower the number, the higher the risk, the higher the number, the lower the risk, okay? So if you only have 500 that you're willing to lose, that you're willing to put onto the bot and play around with, then, um, then you're probably going to have to have a low number, but bear that in mind. With a low value trade, you'll be taking a higher risk, basically. What I like to do is, first of all, I like to look at the altcoins that I want to trade first, right? So there might be some altcoins that you know or that you've heard about in the news. I tend to go with news as well. So as you probably know, Dogecoin has been in the news quite a lot lately. I like to look at the last few days. You can change it to month, but that's going to give more of a, a broader overview of the whole month, which means that a lot can happen in 30 days, right? So I like to go to three days and then I like to look for um, a specific coin. With my 700 US dollars, I feel like I'd love to see how fun USDT is doing. And in the past three days, it has gone up 10%. There's been some lovely news for fun, so, and I like to trade news. So <laughs> that's my little strategy there. If you stay on top of, of crypto news, then it's gonna be easier for you to make decisions here as well. So fun news, for three days, 10% return is so good. So good, some altcoins are making 3%, for example. Um, if I can think of the top of my head, an alcohol that might be doing three. Oh, it's, I mean, it is really good. You see, but see, it's done a 2.88% in the past three days, right? There hasn't been a lot of news around it, and, and yeah, not a lot of, um, yeah, so if you stay up to date with the news, then it's going to be easier, basically. So I would like to get some fun. Also, because I'm interested in this crypto. Let me just show you what fun it is. Let's just go here. So this is a gaming space. It's a casino space on the blockchain and it's, you can have a little look at it later if you like, but I'm, I'm definitely, it's definitely something that resonates with me. And so I'd like to throw a little bit of money onto fun. 
again you have to don't, don't listen to me <laughs> don't do what i do do your research and then make your own decisions i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice <laughs> you have probably heard this so much in the crypto space and look we just can't say it enough you have to you have to do your own research and you can't just trust what we say okay so moving on i am going to click on this you're going to click on your pair and then we're going to scroll back up make sure everything is still there your pair is selected your investment so i'm going to put it down to 500 okay and then grid levels so you see how 500 the box goes red because it wants you to invest a little bit more for this for this amount of risk so if you put that down to 50 which is See, if you see my other trades, I tend to trade 50, 50, 50, 50, maybe 44, maybe 48, you know, just a little bit less, but I don't really go too far below that. And that's why I am willing to throw a little bit more onto this instead of just 500 US dollars. So for 50, what you can do is you can go and click up on here and see what the minimum is. So if you're going to do 50, the minimum is 764 USDT. Higher risk, higher potential reward. <laughs> So, uh, and I don't want to tempt you with that, okay? <laughs> it's best to be conservative whenever you can be, especially if you're really tight on money. 500 is the investment that we're willing to put down, 50 grids. And if you notice here, the box is red. If you click here, then you'll see that it requires a minimum of 764 USDT in order to start the bot with these settings. So of course we can change the settings. So what we'll do, we'll go down to here and we can change, so let's say we we want to, we can tolerate a little bit more risk. We'll do 45, the box is still red, click on here. Hmm, okay, so it's asking for a little bit less now. So how about we put our risk up a tiny bit more? Let's go for 38. Okay, so 38, okay, let's click here, 580. Okay, so let's just go all the way down to 34. Now, if you click on here, you'll see that it asks for 519. So if you're willing to put an extra 19 USDT onto it, then feel free to do that. It depends on how comfortable you feel with taking higher risk. So you need to know that the requirements for each pair are different. So say for example, we chose a different pair. Let's go key USDT, click on that. And let's just put everything back on the way it was, 550. And let's have a little click here and you'll see that the minimum is 1000. So if we go back down to 34 grid, then uh, and click on here, we'll see that the minimum instead of 519 USDT is 712. It's important for you to know that you might not be able to invest in a pair that you really want investing if you have a very low amount to invest. So say you've got 500 USDT and let's say you really wanted to invest in key, but you know, it's asking for 712 and you don't really want to go below 34, then you might have to just choose a different pair. And always choose responsibly. So do your research and always make sure that the pair that you choose is, you know, a pair that you feel comfortable with investing in because the bot is going to hold a little bit of that in your wallet. And if the, if the price goes down, then also your, the value of your investment is going to go down. Okay, so let's change this back to fun. Let's click on it, remember to click on it so that it changes the pair at the top. And let's go back to 534. Okay, so hopefully that stayed the same, 519. So as I said, you can throw another 19 USDT on there if you like, and just keep the grid levels on, on, on this. Otherwise, let's see how, how low you really need to go. Let's go 30, see it's letting you, it's letting you do 530. So this is completely up to you. You're gonna to have to play around with it a little bit. If we go over here, you'll see that I've been very comfortable with using 50 grids. And then going down a little bit with lower value trades. So Koti, I've only put down 800, and with Dot, I've put down 1,300, and so with these two, I've lowered it to 48 and 44. With all the other currencies, I have put down about 0.05 BTC, which at the moment is about 1,900 USDT, and so I've put a grid level of 50 for those, which is usually gonna be my baseline. Let's go back up to here, and let's place the trade now. I'm going to go 44, which means that I'm going to have to invest a little bit more. So 
if you want to invest, if you want to see how much US dollar you have, you can just go take the slider and just go all the way to the top. At the moment, I've got 753 USDT in my account. I'm just going to round it up to 750 and leave <laughs> three USDT in there. Okay, so in order to start the bot, first of all, make sure, it's very important, make sure you double check everything before you click start. Strategy, exchange, the pair, and your investment that you feel comfortable with, and the grid levels that you feel comfortable with. As mentioned, we're not going to cover these three boxes because you can actually trade without touching them. I don't really tend to touch them and I am an experienced trader. As a beginner, you can just leave them as they are until you know a little bit more about technical analysis and then you can go over them. Or you can look up a more advanced tutorial and I might make a more advanced one further down the line. Double check everything. Double check that your grid levels are within the range that you're comfortable with. We're not gonna cover take profit and stop loss as well. You can leave it as it is and click start. To start this bot, it is necessary to buy this amount of fun. So in order to start the bot, you need to buy some fun. Okay, so we're gonna click yes, buy. Voila. And then, yeah, we just leave it there. You'll see your trades happening very shortly. These are the amount of trades. See, the bot has already placed one trade within a few seconds. And yeah, so these are the trades that the bot has placed so far. At the bottom is the grids. This area over here is really easy to understand. You've got the pairs that you are trading. You have your investment, so your initial investment. The change here is how much your pairs fluctuated in price since you started trading. Then you've got the profit in US dollar value and in percentage value and also in the currency value down here. This would be the amount of BTC at the bottom here that has actually gone into my BTC spot account since trading this pair. And then your average daily, and it's very much straightforward. The amount of grids that you've traded, you can go back and look at that. And at the top, you've got the amount of trades that the bot has placed. So you can see the, the bot in the last 30 days here has placed 759 trades, which is like, whoa, that is a lot of trades. Okay, and then you've got the status of the bot. It's usually active, but in a highly volatile market, your trade can go out of the grids. So instead of active, it will probably say something like range or out of range. So you can either just wait for your trade to come back into the grid, or you can close the bot and re-enter. In order to close the bot, you will click on this one here and it will give you two options. Let's say you've got BTC, would you like to trade your Stella back into BTC or would you just like to close your order? So you've got two options there that you can choose from. And that is about it. Your profits will go into your spot account on Binance in this case or whatever other exchange that you choose to use and you have you have your available uh, profits in there. It, the bot doesn't reinvest, you have to do that yourself, but you can take your profits and reinvest in a different pair if you like. Uh, or you can, you can exit the trade and then go back into the trade if you like. Uh, what else? Three days later. It's not quite a 10%, but we'll take a 6% profit. So in three days, it's made $46. Not bad, not bad. I believe this was pretty much a beginner's guide. What do you think? Was this easy enough for you to understand? Do you feel comfortable with using a trading bot? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye for now. Uh oh. Um, further authentication. <laughs> Usually it asks me for some further authentication. <laughs>